In this video, we'll balance the equation for calcium phosphate plus silicon dioxide plus carbon. So it's kind of an involved equation to balance because we have oxygens, lots of different oxygens around here, and quite a number of different elements. So I've already counted all of the atoms up. The thing to be careful, though, we have for oxygens, 2 times the 4 oxygens, 8 plus these two here. So we have 10 oxygens. You have to count all the oxygens. And on this side again, too, we have 3 oxygens plus the 1 here. We have 4 of those. So we know how many atoms we have, each type of atom on each side. Let's balance the equation. There's a few things we can do to help ourselves. I usually leave oxygen atoms to last. And then since I have a carbon all by itself, I'm going to leave this till the very last because that'll be easy to fix. I change the coefficient here. That won't change anything else. Let's start by balancing the phosphorus because if we put a 2 here, that would change the calciums quite a bit. So we start with the phosphorus. We have calcium 3 times 2 now. That'll give us 6 of those. But the phosphorus, 2 times 1, that's 2, times 2, that gives us the 4. Those are balanced. Then we need to update the oxygen atoms. So we have 2 times 4, that's 8. 8 times 2 is 16, plus we have the 2 here in the silicon dioxide. Now we have 18 oxygen atoms. Let's fix the calcium atoms next. We put a 6 in front of the CaSiO3. 1 times 6, that'll give us 6 calcium. Those are balanced. 1 times 6, now we have 6 silicon atoms. We need to update the oxygens. 3 times 6 is 18, plus the 1 in the carbon monoxide is 19. And I notice I don't have anything for carbon down here. There is only one carbon atom. Okay, let's balance the SI. We could put a 6 here. 1 times 6, that would give us 6. Again, we have to update these oxygen atoms. 2 times 4 is 8, times 2, that's our 16, plus 2 times 6, that's 12. So now we have 28 oxygen atoms. Again, we're leaving the carbon for last since it's all by itself here. If I put a 10 in front of the carbon monoxide, I'd have the 3 times 6, 18, and I'd have the 1 times 10. So that would give me 28. Those would be balanced. Carbon's 1 times 10. That's 10. But that's easy to fix because it's all by itself. We just put a 10 here. 1 times 10 is 10, and we're done. This equation is balanced. Trick here, since carbon's by itself, leave it to last. And in general, leaving the oxygens to last, that's a good strategy as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Ca3PO42 plus SiO2 plus C. Thanks for watching.